Good morning, guys. I know I haven't vlogged in so long. I've just been so busy and haven't really been doing anything really vlog worthy, like nothing really interesting. And today's one of those days again, but I was like, you know what? I just have to do it because I haven't done it in so long and you guys are requesting videos and I'm just out of ideas. So we're going to vlog today. It's not, well, it's kind of exciting. I'm doing a few things, but not like that exciting. I just woke up. It's about 9.30. I made my breakfast and I actually already ate half of it because I forgot I was vlogging. And then the plan for today, I have to go to my optometrist because I need some driving glasses um yes i passed my exam i did not kill anyone and so i need some driving glasses and um so i'm gonna go to my optometrist then i'm gonna get my nails done because i mean they're still pretty nice these are my nails guys. these are my nails i've never had my nails this long i am obsessed but see it's starting to grow out and i think i'm gonna do white so i'm going there with kira we're gonna drive mm -hmm, on the highway mm -hmm. I'm scared and then um we're just gonna hang out all afternoon do whatever and um then I have a wedding tonight with some work friends and the bride actually doesn't know that we're well that she doesn't know that I'm coming I don't know if she knows if the other people are coming but we're just gonna surprise her it's gonna be really fun but that's what's the plan for today um let me show you guys my breakfast because it's absolutely delicious let's go obviously a girl's got a half her iced coffee in the morning and I haven't done this breakfast in so long because I haven't had any good avocados in so long. But I got some really good ones at the farmer's market yesterday. They were three for five dollars and they're so good. So I made some avocado toast. And this avocado, guys, it's so mushy and delicious and like smooth and just ugh, hits me right in the feel. So I'm going to finish eating this and then I'm going to do some makeup just a little bit just so I look, you know, kind of presentable. And then, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens next. Kira's gonna come sleep here. She just finished her night shift at work. So she's gonna come sleep here so she's closer when we have to go get our nails done. So it's just, you know, it's just easier. And then I'm gonna go to my, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. And then I'm gonna go to my optometrist and I'll take you guys with me. All right guys, so I'm all ready. And now we're on our way to the metro. I can hate the subway, we call it the metro here. And it's a really beautiful, beautiful day. And yeah, you guys know the drill. Five minute walk to the subway. And it's about a 30 minute subway ride. So I'll see you guys. So it is now 12 o'clock. I got home not too long ago. I'm not talking very loud because Kira's sleeping back there. But I just made some lunch. I'm starving. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I'm gonna be eating. All right, so here's my lunch. I decided to make a sandwich because, I don't know, I was just craving a sandwich. And look how beautiful these colors are. Like, oh, wow. So on this side, I have some avocado with a little bit of salt, pepper, and some lime. And then here I have some beautiful beet hummus. Look at that color. And then I'm just going to add these um, lettuce leaves on top. And then I have this slice of vegan cheese, which is hella good this is the one that i bought it's the diet cheddar style cheese dairy free soy free and gluten free and 4.99 for like all of this is not that bad and it's actually really good like by itself kind of like you can tell it's not cheese but like i've been eating it with these crackers like in a little sandwich these little corn crackers and um it's really really good so that's gonna be my sandwich whoa look at that and then on the side i'm gonna eat uh, this leftover uh, coconut curry soup that I made for dinner yesterday, guys, it is so freaking delicious. I'm gonna leave the recipe down below. You guys have to try this. It's a little bit spicy, but you can like play around with the ingredients to make it more or less spicy. And then I'm gonna have some mango. I bought these beautiful mangoes yesterday, so I'm gonna eat this. And then I have half of an avocado left, so I think if I'm hungry still after all of this, I'm gonna eat it with some of these crackers, maybe some hummus. I don't know yet. We will see. This is my lunch and it looks delicious and I'm so excited to eat. I am also finishing my coffee from this morning that I did not finish because it's just delicious and I just, I just really want my coffee. Mm. Quick side note, if you guys are thinking about going vegan or in the beginnings of becoming vegan and you are kind of craving like dairy, like cheese, like you know, I love cheese or love the cheese. Um, it was like one of the staples in my diet. It was like, ugh, I would eat like every kind of cheese. Like it was just the best. And surprisingly, I haven't had too much trouble in the beginning. I think because I was really, really strict. But now I'm like, ugh, sometimes I crave it. So I found the, the cheese that I just showed you guys. And 
I think that for you guys that are having trouble transitioning because of cheese, um, I think that buying a cheese alternative is a great um, it's a great idea. I also have, you guys know, I love the diet, the cream cheese, and it tastes exactly like real cream cheese. So this is what it looks like. They changed their packaging a little bit and it looks even prettier. So diet, this one is chive and onion, but they also have regular and strawberry, I believe. And this one was $5.39, which is the same price, I think, as any other cream cheese. And it's really, really, really good. I really, really, really like this brand, Daya. I also tried their mac and cheese, and my friends did not like it. But I, I think because I haven't had, like, craft dinner or, like, any cheese in so long, it's been, like, a month and a half, that it was so good. Like, the sauce isn't a powder. It's, like, a creamy sauce. And the sauce was so thick and flavorful. And it actually kind of tastes like the cheese slices, but, like, in a like liquid kind of I guess um liquid form and I think what I'm going to do is I know bulk barn has them so I'm going to go to bulk barn and buy like five boxes because I can't find them anywhere else and I really want to make this recipe where you know like you put it in the oven with some breadcrumbs oh my god it's gonna be so good I'm so excited so just because you're vegan doesn't mean you can't enjoy like non-vegan like products because there's like alternatives and obviously like they're not the healthiest because they are processed but I mean, if it's gonna help you transition and make it a little bit easier for you, then totally go for it. That's what I'm doing right now. I don't, but I find that I don't eat it as much. Like I don't crave the cream cheese. Like this jar lasted me a month and a half. I just bought this one yesterday. So it lasted me a month and a half and that's not that bad. I maybe ate it like four or five times. That's how much this, or maybe even six or seven, I don't know. But it lasted me quite a long time and I don't crave it. I don't know if it's because like the dairy proteins that make you like crave cheese are in there. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious and I totally recommend you guys try it out. Even if you're not vegan, try it out. It's delicious and it's the same price and I promise you will like it. I want to go tan outside, but now it's cloudy. So I think I'm going to work on my bowl journal and I'll show you guys what I come up with. Okay, so it's now 1 p.m. and I enjoyed my lunch. It was so delicious. And I got through a little bit of bullet journal while watching some YouTube, but like really not much. I don't know why. I just, it's sunny outside and I really want to go tan because I haven't tanned in a long time. So I think I'm going to do that. This is all that I've done. It's not very pretty, but... I just had zero inspiration for September, so that's all I did for now. Maybe I'll get to some a bit more later, but I don't think so, because after I'm done tanning, we have to go get our nails done. We're going to leave around 2.15, so I'm going to get my bathing suit, and I'll see you guys later. you got pink yay so pretty <laughs> so cheap right i don't know it's pretty cheap and uh it's now four o'clock holy shit it's late and we are heading home so hopefully we don't get stuck in too much traffic all right friends it is now six 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 thirty six fifteen i don't really know i took my watch off but I just got home from doing groceries. I think the last thing I showed you guys was after our nail salon. So we came back home, picked up um, grocery bags, and we went to three different places. And I'm gonna show you guys a little mini grocery haul because I don't know about you guys, but I love watching them. So I'm gonna share with you what I got. So like I told you guys before, I'm going to a wedding tonight and two of my friends are gonna come over. So I got two bottles of wine, low key the cheapest because well, that's just kind of wine that I like to get cheap is cheaper the better and then I got these tortilla chips they're the blue corn tortillas I absolutely love these and then I got it with some um salsa then I went to a little farmer's market and I got three avocados and these aren't these the most beautiful avocados you've ever seen like, I don't know about you guys, but wow. These were three for five, which is a super good deal. Then I got these corn, what are these, corn cakes? And this was like a dollar something, which is pretty good. I got the other ones that I showed you guys yesterday, but these ones were cheaper and they're round. So hey, they're super cute. So I got these. Then I went ahead and got some of this Mexican veggie ground round. So it's like fake ground beef I get and it's by the brand Eve or Ives or whatever you want to call it and I think I'm going to use this 
in um, like pasta sauce or tacos or we eat like shepherd's pie. I'm not sure what yet, but I think pasta sauce is gonna be the winner. I'm just gonna freeze it for now because I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it and I'll use it when I'm ready. Then I got some coconut sugar because well, we ran out. And then I got these two ramen because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm on night shift, ramen is the way to go and i checked and this is a bit there's a big like chicken leg or whatever on the front but i looked at the ingredients and the only thing is artificial chicken flavor and i looked online i actually googled it at the store and artificial chicken flavor it's just molecules that they make like artificially so it tastes like chicken but there is no animal products in here from what my brain can detect and then i just got this little round tupperware because girl i gotta eat my ramen and something so that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow night i'm so excited and yeah that's pretty much all that i got and i think since we're gonna have like chips and salsa and wine it's kind of like not the best thing to eat you know um we're gonna have that later i think i'm gonna make a salad and i'm thinking of doing like a julienne like carrot cucumber with i don't know what maybe some beets i have some shredded beets with that and then add ooh, maybe some rice noodles that could be really good and then do like um avocado and mango because i have one mango left and i have one and a half avocado and my mom's coming home soon i think she went to the gym so i'll make that for us for dinner and i'm so excited because it's so hot i wanted to make like baked potatoes but it's so hot i don't want to start the oven tomorrow i want to make um some vegan vegetarian burger patties i made some like a while ago and i froze them and they were super good like frozen like not frozen but like defrosted and i think i'm gonna make like a double batch tomorrow guys i'm tired where i was getting at was i need to soak my beans because i have so many like red beans that are like not cooked but i gotta soak them you gotta soak them eight hours in advance so i think i'm gonna soak those tonight and then make those tomorrow after i wake up and then maybe i'll bring one for a night shift i don't know could be good a burger i don't know we'll see um but yeah so i'm gonna cut up my veggies soak my beans put on some music hang out and yeah wait for my mom to get home and we'll see what we do next i figured i'd show you guys how i make my avocado mango salad dressing because last time i had it a lot of people asked for the rest last time i had it last time i made it in a video a lot of you guys asked for the recipe i think it maybe was on snapchat i think it was on i don't think i put it in a video i think it was on snapchat so i'm gonna show you guys how i make it start off with like i said here i just have half but i would put like one or two depending on how much you want then I'm gonna put in my mango, and I'm gonna add some soy sauce if you want. I just have tamari because that's what I have. And I'm gonna blend this and see if it needs a little bit of water. Alright guys, taste test. I'm kinda scared, it looks brown. Mmm, actually really good. I'm gonna add the other avocado and the mango. I'll show you guys the finished product. Oh my god, guys, this is so good. It's like, oh, it's like air. Mmm, mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think it needs a little bit more soy sauce though. So all I put in here. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. All I put was one and a half avocado. Obviously, you go with your measurements as you wish one whole mango and then about like i'd say four tablespoons of soy sauce the soy sauce definitely gives it the saltiness and like the asian flavor the avocado gives it like the creaminess and then the mango gives it like the tang i think i'm gonna add a little bit of lime maybe i'll just add it on the vegetables and here is the salad i've prepared so we have some shredded carrots beets cucumber zucchini and broccoli and i'm just cooking some um, river micheli noodles over here. I'm gonna add in there, add the sauce in, bam, add some sesame seeds, eat with some chopsticks. It's gonna be a delicious. I'm very excited. I will show you guys the finished product. I just realized I'm lacking protein for this meal. It's pretty much just vegetables and water. So I'm gonna cut up some tofu into really small chunks and pop them in the pan with a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of hoisin sauce because hoisin is very salty, but you just gotta put a little bit just to give it the flavor. So that's what I'm gonna do. And like I said again, I will show you guys the finished product. Here is the finished product. Yum. Yum. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. All right guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. We finished eating. We're just gonna have some dessert. My cat's... Hi. Just hanging 
hanging out. And then my friend Rena's coming over in about like 20 minutes and then I bought some wine and we're gonna hang out and get ready. And that's pretty much it. Then we're gonna go over to the wedding. That's pretty much it. So hopefully I get a bit of footage tonight and I'll insert it right here.